Hello and welcome to this week's video. Don't forget if you like these videos and you'd like to find out more about what we're up to, to like and share them and pass them around to anybody who you think might find them interesting. Thanks for watching and we're going to go inside. So this week you join us on one of our projects where we're uh, replacing a large projector within a primary school hall and we're also upgrading some of their lighting from uh, traditional light to some LED light that are all wirelessly controlled uh, so they can use them in their productions. Uh, so we'll go inside and see what the guys are up to. So as we can see in here we've got an old projector that's going to be taken down and some old lighting as well. Uh, so we're just working out uh, the best way to get that down at the moment. And if we look down at the other end of the main hall, uh, we've got some more lights but we've also got the projection screen that's quite damaged. Uh, so that's going to be coming down and replaced with an electric roll down screen. So we'll get on and uh, get these taken down so we can start to put the new stuff up. <laughs> So uh, part of the job is we've had to remove the dimmers because uh, the new lights need permanent power. Uh, so Andy's just made a, uh, a hole in the back of a new consumer unit. And if we look in the cupboard where the dimmer was, uh, it's going to replace uh, the old dimmers uh, and wire the new consumer unit in to provide power to the two lighting bars. Uh, so we'll get out of the way and let Andy uh, back in the cupboard. So we've currently just programmed the Synergy panel which is controlling the projector and we've just got it set up on a bench at the moment just to prove that it's working. Uh, so these panels are hardwired and allow us to change the input on the projector uh, as well as turn the projector on and off, uh, which is great for when people tend to lose the remote controls. So we've now got the screen installed and Andy's just checking the electrics out um, for the certificate. So we've uh, installed a few spur uh, for the electrically powered screen uh, to allow it to roll down uh, when a button's pressed. Uh, so now he's happy, uh, we're going to go and just finish setting the projector up. So the projector's installed in a uh, security cage uh, because the hall is used for a gym as well, so it gives it a bit of protection. Uh, so as you can see down on the wall, we've got the Synergy panel that we were programming earlier that allows all of the, uh, the projector to be controlled, turned on and off, and the input selected. And then below that, uh, we've got the new input panel, uh, which is where the old one was. Uh, so the decorators are gonna come and just paint around that uh, to make it all nice and pretty again. So now that's done, we're gonna roll the screen down and just get the projector to fit the screen. So we've just shown the uh, teachers at the school how this all works now. Um, we're having a last final tidy up, uh, and then we're gonna be leaving. And we're actually going to another school now uh, to carry out some testing over there. Um, so we're, as I say, just finishing tidying up and then we're heading off. Well, there are a lot of children in the school today, uh, so we couldn't go in there and do any filming uh, whilst we're doing the testing. Um, but it's just the, uh, the usual testing that we do at a school, so um, some uh, fixed electrical testing, uh, some portable items that we've tested, uh, and also just making sure that everything's safe and secure, the lighting bars and, and all that kind of thing. Uh, so it's been quite a long day, um, obviously we started off uh, installing the projector and screen and some lighting at one school and then we got all that done, came over and did the testing and inspection here. Uh, so I think it's about time to go back to the office, get unloaded, have a cup of tea and then uh, get ready for tomorrow. So thanks for watching again and if you do like these videos or you want to uh, find out more about what we're up to, do follow us and share them. Thanks.